For the MakeCode Minute today, what I wanted to do was show you how inside of MakeCode, using just a very few blocks, we can create an analog read for, in this case, a potentiometer, which will map to the NeoPixels on the Circuit Playground Express. So first, here's the demo. I've got this little breakout board for a potentiometer. It's a standard, I believe, 10K pot. And you can see here, as I turn the knob, we get the same response as I turn that on the which NeoPixels are lit on, on that uh, Circuit Playground Express. So let's take a look at how, how is this done. It's actually so simple you may not even believe it. What you'll see here looking at make code is I decided to do this as, in as few blocks as I could think of doing it in. So I have one forever loop and it just repeats the code inside of there. I have one block that turns all the NeoPixels off, just sets them all to black. And then a moment later, it sets the pixel color at one NeoPixel to red. And the one that it does is based on this little block here, which is a map block, which remaps some values. So it remaps the 0 to 1024, or roughly that. I've, I've fudged it a little bit. To the NeoPixels number 9, which is that top right one, to NeoPixel 0. So that's how I map that same direction of turn here to the uh, NeoPixels that are on Circuit Playground Express based on the knob. And uh, it repeats that forever, so it's very, very simple. We could do this other ways, but this way works really well. I think it's easy to understand, easy to explain. And this is the key block right here, this analog read pin A1. And that is the pin where I have the value of that potentiometer reading. It's acting as a voltage divider, so we get an analog value. And that is how you can map a potentiometer or other analog input on the Circuit Playground Express to the NeoPixel ring right inside of MakeCode. And that is your MakeCode Minute.